Guys, we're really honored. This is a, a true honor to have Jill and Julia perform for us. You can catch their show tonight at the Highline Ballroom in New York City. Check out their website in our resource well for tickets and information. And now performing a bit from the Jill and Julia show, Jill Sobuel and Julia Sweeney. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just spent um, a week in Dublin. I was doing a little bit of publicity for my book that just came out in April. And I met with some cousins and I learned a story about my grandfather that I didn't know before, which was that when his whole family came from Dublin to New York for just a few years, when they were going back to Dublin, my grandfather got on the boat in New the New York Harbor with his visa to go back to Dublin, told his parents and his, his family that he was gonna go down a deck to have a cigarette, and in fact jumped off the boat to stay in New York. <laughs> And I had never heard this story before. And I walked around Dublin so angry at my grandfather for doing such an irresponsible thing. But then it occurred to me that maybe my grandfather actually knew a little bit more about what it meant to get on a boat with your entire family than I did when I got on a carnival cruise with my entire family and fell into a depression that was so deep I had to be in the fetal position for um, one entire day. I was in the fetal position and I actually had to look into how much it would cost to get airlifted off the boat which was actually $10,000, which I didn't do, but if you're interested in that. Um, but then later, when I thought about it, I thought I actually have to be glad that my grandfather got off the boat, because if he didn't, he wouldn't have made his way to Yakima, Washington, and met my grandmother, and I wouldn't be here. Yes, Julia. And you know, this that was the shortened version. And she goes in, I mean, it's its like 50 minutes. <laughs> yes, exactly. So. Here's a song, because it's really about immigration, and I have a song about immigration. And the um, it's also on my, you can get it on my chord book I just made, the Jill Sobia <laughs> Primer. Nice. Um, so if you guys all want to sing the chorus when it comes around, it'd be beautiful. <laughs> and you would can they, they can't even come in. You will sing. Here we go. When they say we want our America back, our America back, our America back. When they say we want our America back, well, what the fuck do they mean? Do you got it? I got that. Remember the Garden of Eden before Eve hung out with that snake. You could walk down the streets, not worry about thieves. All the kids could go trick or treating. Then those foreigners started coming in, like the Germans in 1790. Then the Irish arrived, the potato blight. The neighborhood started changing. Life was better, we lived right. Life had a paler shade of white when they say we want our America back, our America back, our America back. When they say we want our America back, well, what the fuck do they mean? Before there was Ellis Island and that statue we got from the French. Well, that horse still alerting with strangers, she's flirting, inviting them into our beds. The guineas, the coolies, the wetbacks, the reds, the Jews, now those terrorists. And who let in the woman looks after my kid and the one who is cleaning my mess. Life was righteous, life was clean. Send them all back, including me, when they say we want our America back, our America back, our America back. When they say we want our America back, well, what the fuck do they mean? Before the gays had the agenda, before the slaves were free, before that man from Kenya took the presidency. Hey, where'd you go? It's not over. They're coming in. Oh, okay. Come on, hurry. Come on in. Last chorus. Come on, come on. This is a big finish. You guys have to teach them the chorus now. They have to know. All right, all right. Come on, come on. One, two, three. Well, 
This is an incredibly talented uh, team and an incredibly great show. <laughs>